What's up you guys, it's Adana. So I know I'm in a new setting and that's because I have a lot going on this week with respect to my job. I'm working like a back to back to back to back, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I still wanna make videos for you guys and answer your questions. So I'm gonna be answering the question about does it really matter what undergrad you graduate from when it comes to going to PA school? So let's get into the video right now. So I had a question posed by Amal D and I wanted to answer this question for you guys but um, if you're new to my channel please go ahead take a look around if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe um, I make new videos and I post them every Sunday and Tuesday sometimes Wednesday and Monday it just kind of depends on the day but for sure Sundays and Tuesdays so come on back and check out what I have for you next week okay and also before I get into the video if you are um, still trying to get that Rosh Review PAQ Bank for free for 365 days. That is right, a full year. Please leave a comment in my comment section below. Follow both my Instagram and Rosh Review's Instagram um, because I will be posting the winner of that giveaway this evening, okay? All right, so Amal D said, hey Adana, I wanted to ask, does it matter what college you graduate from when getting into PA school? Like, does it matter if I graduate from a big known school or is it the same as if I graduate from an all right school, meaning that they're better than it? I mean, okay, so I think that that's a good question, a legit question, because you know what, when it comes to like your future and sometimes when it comes to like your job, if you're in like a different profession, you're, you know, you, if you go to like Yale or Harvard or Duke or one of the Ivies, it's like super prestigious and you know, it's really like, yes, I wanna get this student from that school. Um, but when it comes to PA school, it's not really like that, honestly, at all. Um, you know, they don't really look at like, oh, okay, like she went to Duke and she graduated from, you know, Brown or whatever the case may be. It's not like a, a snooty tooty, like what to do, okay? So when it comes to PA school, the PA profession was created as a second career, right? And so a lot of the students in the past and even now are coming to this as like a second option. Like they've done something that they've already wanted to do and now they wanna get into healthcare and be a provider and the PA profession affords them that opportunity. So, you know, you may not have graduated from Harvard and if you did graduate from Harvard, it was like, you know, 10 years ago or 15 years ago for some people. And so it doesn't really matter. You know, that doesn't hold any water when it comes to getting into PA school. What matters with PA school is what your GPA is, you know, from your undergrad or from the prerequisite courses that you've taken, what your GRE or your PA CAT score are, um, you know, what your healthcare experience is and how many hours you have of that. And for some schools, like vol volunteering and shadowing kind of matters as well because they want to see that you give of yourself and also at the same time, you know about the PA profession um, and you know exactly why you want to be a PA, okay? So those are the things that matter. And I just wanted to address that because I know sometimes we think like it matters in terms of like, where we've gone to undergrad. So let me make sure that I, you know, have gone to a good undergrad. But if you went to like an Ivy undergrad, but your GPA isn't hitting, like you may have gotten like, you know, a 2.5 or something like that in that undergrad because you didn't really care about going to college or whatever the case may be. Or you may have gotten a 3.0, which is really like average, like kind of soup, like subpar kind of average when it comes to the GPA for PA school, you're still gonna have to retake some of those classes and boost some of your other intangibles, okay? So um, Amal, right? I wanted to make sure that I was saying your name right. Amal, it does not matter what undergrad you went to. It, what matters are those prerequisite stats. And I know that this is a quick video, but my husband has a saying of like, the shorter the message, the longer it sticks. And I think that you all need to really like take this home. I really want you to take this home with you that it does not matter 
what mat in terms of what undergrads you went to what matters is your prerequisite stats okay so make sure that gpa is right both science and cumulative make sure your gre and your your pa cat whatever standardized test your school is requiring make sure those numbers are correct make sure your hours are up there and make sure the type of experience that you have is like pretty adequate and good because that is not only going to help you get into PA school, but it will help you once you've graduated from PA school and you've actually started your job, depending on the specialty that you're going into. Okay. Thank you, Amal, so much for asking me that question. I really appreciate it. Y'all, please continue to leave me questions and comments in the comment section below. Um, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my YouTube algorithm out a ton. Okay, follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. And again, if you are interested in free access for one year to the PA Cat Q Bank, I'm giving away two of those free accesses in this particular giveaway. Um, if you didn't see that video, go check my previous video from Sunday. Um, but I'll need you to leave a comment in the comment section below. Follow me on Instagram and Rosh Review on Instagram, our, our respective Instagrams. Uh, for a chance to win because I will be announcing the winner this evening, okay, on Instagram. So you got to be following us both on Instagram. All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.